Woo, man. That feels good. So good. So good. So good. When you get a chance to uh, get get a shower in, it feels so good. So good. But you want to know what? You know what I'm talk want to talk about other than the showers, you know, and, and why you guys is not taking them, and I don't understand why. Why not? Why you're not taking them? I wanna I wanna I wanna piggyback on what Trucker Brown said. Let's jump into it. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. What's going on, everybody? My name is Lockout Men. And if you like what I do over here, you know what to do to hit that subscribe button, like button, and that bell notification. That's what's up. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. You know, I'm I'm always watching Trucker Brown. Yes, Trucker Brown, I do watch you, brother man. I see what you're talking. I see what you're talking about, but I don't know, bro. I'm gonna probably might have to disagree with you on some key points okay okay i know you said that everything you're talking about is all about making money i get that i get that but you say essentially to make the money you got to be running you got to control your clock you got to know what to do with the clock you can't be messing around on the clock you can't be stopping all points in the time and i agree with you on that you 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 can't be stopping here, there, and everywhere, and expect to get to your location on time. You wasting time by each time that you stop. Now, for some people, they might have like emergencies and stuff like that. I understand this not to you, okay? But, brother man, I hear what you're saying, but it all boils down to the company that you work for. It all boils down to the dispatchers that you have a rapport with. Because if that dispatcher ain't getting you no loads, then you're not moving. You have no choice but to be up in the sleeper for 16 hours. You have no choice for being up in the sleeper for 12 hours. If your dispatcher, load planner, or fleet manager is not getting the loads for you, bruh, I've been there. I've been there. I know what it is. I'm a runner. I love to run. The company that I work for, you want to run, boom, they got the loads. I'm loaded every time I get dropped. Drop a load. Bam, I'm ready for the next load. Load's already ready. Go pick it up and get gone. You got four hours left on the clock. Go ahead and pick up that load. That'll take about an hour, or half an hour, then boom, run that clock out. Because as I said before, that clock don't belongs to you. That clock belongs to the company, and they want you to run that bad boy till it is bone dry. Okay? But some companies aren't like that, bruh. You got some companies that have you sitting, waiting, looking, plotting, and all that other stuff. You need a trailer. You need an empty trailer. Okay, well, you got a bobtail to Home Depot, no trailers. Target, no trailers. Lowe's, no trailers. Walmart, you got a trailer over there, but Walmart needs it. They got you bumping all from point A to point B. I've been there, bruh. I know what it is about wasting time, wasting clock time, wasting valuable time. Then when you find a trailer, they finally give you a load, and then it takes them a long time to load you, and your clock is already depleted. You already spent about two, three hours looking for a trailer. Now you got to now you gotta go and get live loaded. Live loaded, that's about another two hours, depending on where you're going. So now you only got like three, four hours left on the clock to run. Then when you hit traffic, and then when you hit traffic, it's, it's all over. Then you have to worry about finding somewhere to park to get your 10 hour in. I hear what you're saying, bruh. It's all about managing your clock. But if you, you, you can't manage the clock if your fleet manager is not helping you to manage it. You call your fleet manager up and you be like, yo, bro, hey, I, I, yo, what you doing? What you doing? Oh, well, we got a load for you. We only got like a like a two, three, two, three hundred a mile load for you. What? Are you serious? Bro, I got a full 10 hour clock. 
I remember days that I had to take two thirty. I mean, two ten hour breaks, bro. And that's not because I didn't know how to run my clock. That's not because I was lazy. That's because the low planners and the fleet managers didn't have nothing ready for me. So you can't always blame that on the person, bro. You can't blame that on the person that's like, okay, well, you 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 messing around, you pussyfooting around, you getting some love and all this other stuff. It's not all like that, bro. It's not all like that. Now, I understand there is some lazy boys out here. Yes, y'all lazy. Y'all bums out here. Y'all don't want to make no money. Y'all lazy. Y'all bums out here. Y'all y'all don't know how to manage your clock. I get that. Some of you guys don't. Like, let's say if you want to get up into New York, right? You know New York traffic is all heavy. It's all heavy. Let's say your load ain't due until the next day, right? Eight o'clock in the morning or whatever. You want to get up into New York at night where the traffic is the least, ha the least issues. Get up in there in the morning, unload, bounce out. That's it. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. It's all about good trip planning as well. But you can't, you, all that is thrown out of the window if your fleet manager or your load planner or your dispatcher is not doing nothing for you. That's all I got to say on that part. Let's, 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 let's switch gears right quick, man. Hold on. Why you guys not showering? <clears throat> Why you guys not showering, man? Don't you know showers is the essential to a truck driver, man? I mean, you can bird bath for as long as you like, but a good hot shower is great. But what I want to know is why this man over in Indiana was in the shower for four hours, though? What, what are you doing in there, bruh? I mean, it, it, did you have a female, would you? I mean, I can understand if you're clapping them cheeks for four hours. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes you want to switch it up. I get it. But to my understanding in this article that he was in the shower for four hours, the guys over at Pilot said the time for him to take a shower ran out. When was there a time? When did Pilot ever have a timer on showers, man? Why does it take you? He said, the, the article said that when the police got there, he still didn't want to come out. Like, he like he wanted to, like, literally live. I, I don't even think he was a truck driver. I, I, I'm, I'm going to assume that he was probably a homeless person or something. Because ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. That a truck driver is going to be in the shower for four hours. Now, for ladies, I can understand you guys being in there for a little bit longer because y'all got to go in there and open up the whole bathroom. You know, y'all got to do the scrape. Y'all got to do the disinfectant. Y'all got to put all y'all all y'all essentials out and take them long ass soothing showers. For a guy, on the other hand, depending on the guy, you know, maybe about maybe about a half an hour or 45 minutes or something like that. That's me. I'm like a half an hour, 45 minute kind of guy. I'm telling you, when, when you get up under them arms, up on behind the ears, up under the balls and, the, and, and wash the bottom of your feet, it's nothing else like it. Oh, you think you just gonna leave it down there? No. Huh? We don't waste no more soap in here. I'm, I'm finished. No, no, nigga. You ain't a finish. I've been watching you. You have? You ain't washed behind your ears or nothing. But I did. Look at me. See how I'm all clean and glistening and shit. That's hygiene, nigga. You can call me the health inspector. Now pick up the soap. 
Nothing else like it, bruh. Taking a good, clean shower, you come out. Listen, if you have a bad day, listen, let me tell you. If you have a bad day, like a bad day, like a fucked up day, a, a day that, a day that, like I mentioned earlier today, that you're sitting around and you couldn't find no trailers and you're not running and then they finally get you a load for like three, four hundred miles and you all pissed off and shit. Go in there and take a shower and see how and see how your attitude change. I'm telling you, when you come out smelling good, looking good, feeling good. Your whole attitude, your whole demeanor, your whole energy, your whole aura would change after a good, clean shower. And that's what you guys need to do, man. Y'all, I understand it's all about the money. Y'all want to run, 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 run. I get it. You know, bird bath, bird bath, bird bath, man. But come on now. Come on now. You just, what, you know, one night when you park, only take about half an hour, 45 minutes, go in there and get a good, clean shower. And I guarantee you, after you get that shower and you hit that bed smelling good, looking good, feeling good, that energy, you're going to have a good night sleep. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Shower, please. Because some of you guys be funky. Ball sweat, funky. Feet sweat, funky. Breath stinks, funky. Face look, face look like something that came out of a mud pit. Funky. Just plain old funky. Okay. All right. Y'all, e even, even the mud people that live in the ditches go in the shower every once in a while. That's what I'm saying. Truck drivers, come on now. We need to do better. We need to do better. We need to be better. We need to feel better. That's what they got showers for. It's free. You get the points. You fuel up. You get a free shower. Use them. Use them. Okay? Okay? Use them. And then get back out there and run. But in order to run... You got to get with a company that's going to run you. Okay? And not all companies are good at that. I'm just saying. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it, me class kids who went pop Death to the hit, it won't stop Let's talk key scales, it won't drop You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top Me and Mozart, bars, you got pops Urge writing the Tiffany, a whole symphony You a symptom to me, but go off Or make a masterpiece for you Or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pum, pum Y'all fit to me like the symphony Your career's done, done, done